Hello everybody. We had such a wonderful time yesterday doing our, um, our recipe and thickening up some broth yesterday that I thought, okay, you know what? All of my friends who've had bariatric surgery, like myself, need help. We need help being able to um, cook and come up with new ideas. And so I thought, you know what? Let's do this. So I have the time and I have the ability and I have the willing spirit. So today I wanted to show you guys a recipe that could be used um, in your, I wanna say pre-op and you can probably use it in post-op as well. Actually, no, you can. And it would be uh, similar to like cottage cheese and making it into something that's like a cheesecake, kind of like an Italian cheesecake with a black cherry flavor. But we have to make sure it fits into all of our, all of our guidelines, right? So um, we're actually gonna use ricotta cheese today instead of, instead of cottage cheese. And if you wanted to use cottage cheese, that's fine. You just wanna blend it up so it's nice and pureed the way that ricotta cheese is. And a couple eggs, we are using a little bit of vanilla from Mexico because that's what Mexico has amazing vanilla. And then also um, some sugar-free black cherry jello and we're gonna bake it. So it'll be kind of like an Italian um, cheesecake. So cheesecakes in Italy are made with ricotta cheese actually. And then they're made, there's cream cheese and sour cream and all kinds of things, but we want it to be simple. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let me turn the camera and face down a little bit and I'll show you everything that needs to be put into our ricotta bake that is going to be uh, sweet and creamy all at the same time. Okay, so here we go. I'll just angle down. All right, so we are going to use uh, ricotta cheese. This is actually made with part skim milk and we're gonna use the entire container. Okay, so we're gonna take that. And we're just gonna dump it in our bowl here. They always give me a fit trying to open them. I'll end up getting it with a knife, watch this. <laughs> All right. And I don't know what kind of grocery stores you have. I'm just actually using, this is all from Aldi, um, super inexpensive and it's great. So if you get water in the top of your ricotta cheese, you just need to dump it out, no problem, okay? So we're gonna take the entire thing. Now this is so delicious that you will like it and so will your family members. So this is not something that is just for you. Now you could also use um, little ramekins if you wanted and make like little individual serving sizes, that would be fine. But today we are just gonna make one big container. Okay, so there's our ricotta cheese. Next, we're going to use our sugar-free black cherry jello. Now you can alter this flavor. You can put lemon, you could do orange. If you had orange with your vanilla, it would be like dreamsicle cheesecake kind of a flavor. So we're gonna take this and we are not going to use the whole thing. We're actually only going to use about half of it. Now you could be all crazy and you could measure it out if you wanted, or you could go on the fly the way I do and you can just sprinkle in half, half of it, kind of see a little bit more there. All right, that ought to be good. We'll just put that away. I use Jello a lot since I've had bariatric surgery. And I was just kind of to the point where I was tired of like protein shakes. I'm sure you guys were too. And so ricotta cheese is good. It's, it's high in protein the same way that cottage cheese is. So you can see how pretty that is. It's not, it's not like overly pink. It's not overly red. It's nice. And then we're going to take two eggs. So I kind of make like a little hole there. I use cage free eggs. It's just something we like to do. eggs and we're just gonna stir everything in together now you know that when you are making like a lasagna or something like that you always use the eggs the eggs are a binder let's say it has like a healthy fat for you that'll be good and it also has um, like protein in it as well so proteins fats everything 
Now, of course, this whole thing is too much for one person. So individual serving sizes would be something that would be good for you. Or like I said, your family's gonna really enjoy it. Now you could actually put this over like a graham cracker crust or you could shake graham crackers on the top or you could use um, like Walden Farms has sugar-free and everything, zero carbs, zero fat, zero everything, like strawberry jam. You could always put a little bit of that on the top. So that'd be kind of good. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna use just a little bit of our vanilla. So I got some vanilla from Mexico because who doesn't need vanilla from Mexico? And we're just gonna use one teaspoon. Nice vanilla flavor. All right, put that in there. Stir this up. And then I am going to put it in this beautiful stoneware container and we're gonna throw it in the oven at 350. So here we go, here is everything, our ricotta, our eggs, our jello, and our vanilla. How do you like that? Four ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set our timer. How pretty that is. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in the oven. And once it's all baked, I'll come back and I'll show you guys the picture.